Hello, and welcome to the 10th grade at Forest View High School. This video is meant to orient you with the 10th grade registration card and highlight your course options for your sophomore year. All students will meet one-on-one -on -one with a counselor to create a personalized plan for high school success. This card will serve as a menu of choices that can be used to begin the registration process. Before we begin, I want to take the opportunity to introduce the counselor and administrator teams who you'll continue to work with during your time here at Forest View. If your last name falls within the letters A through F, Ms. Glenn and Ms. Clemens will serve as your administrator and counselor. If your last name falls within the letters G through M, Dr. Bromley, that's me, and Ms. Connolly will be your go-to administrator and counselor. Lastly, if your last name falls within the letters N through Z, Ms. Ramsey and Ms. Malloy will serve as your administrator and counselor team. Now that introductions are over, let's move on to the registration card. Please be sure to complete all of the information listed on the top of the card, including your Gaston County email address. Counselors will need these details to communicate with you and your parents regarding any scheduling questions to best serve your needs. Your sophomore year is split into two half semesters, each made up of four scheduled courses for a total of eight courses. These eight courses will include four core required courses, one career and technical course, and three elective courses. You will also choose two alternate courses that will be scheduled for you should your first choice not be available. When choosing courses on the card, be sure to pay close attention to courses that are by application only or have listed prerequisites. For application only courses, you'll need to speak directly to the teacher to apply for permission to schedule the course. Courses that show prerequisites may only be scheduled after prerequisites have been completed. The registration card has been broken into sections to help guide you through your scheduling options. The top section titled Core Requirement is where you'll find classes that are part of our core curriculum requirements for 10th graders. You'll select one course from each box in the top section for a total of four selections from the Core Requirement box. The next section, labeled CTE Requirement, lists our career and technical education course offerings. Courses are listed according to the career and technical pathways. Sophomore students are encouraged to choose a course that completes or continues the pathway chosen last year. However, you may make the choice to begin a new pathway as well. You must choose one course from this box. The next section, titled AP Electives, outlines our advanced placement course offerings for 10th grade students. AP courses offer a challenging pace and curriculum to students who seek enrichment in their studies. The next section, labeled Electives, lists our general elective course offerings for 10th grade students. They are listed according to content areas. Year-long courses such as Chorus or Band count as two elective choices each. From the AP Electives box and the Elective box combined, you must choose three courses total. On the lines underneath the last sections, you'll be able to indicate alternate course options. We'll use these choices in case one of your selections above becomes unavailable. You must choose two alternate courses from either the CTE or either of the two elective sections and list them on these lines. Work closely with your parents to choose courses that are academically challenging and align well with your academic goals to ensure a successful educational experience. Lastly, after you and your parents have completed and gone over the card, please sign the bottom of the card along with the parent before returning it to your counselor. Our counselors are here to help you. Your counselor will meet with you during the registration process to answer questions and provide guidance as needed. A complete course description for each course being offered, as well as other valuable information regarding Forest Food Curricular Choices, can be found in the Gaston County Schools High School Curriculum and Information Guide. You'll find a link to it on our school website. If you have any questions, please feel free to email or call to speak with your child's counselor or administrator. Thank you, and once again, welcome to 10th grade. It's going to be a great year.